let's upcycle a terrible design. So recently I found this blouse at the thrift store, tag still on, and it's also worth noting this isn't a cheap brand. Their tops sell for around $150 new. Now you're probably thinking, what makes this design so bad? It looks fine. So the issue is with the sleeves. There is this very large, heavy embroidery down the center of the sleeve, but it gets all lost and folded because the fabric is very thin and light and it's gathered across the shoulder and cuff of the sleeve. Basically, this fabric is not sturdy and structured enough to support this embroidery. And this large patch of embroidery also shouldn't be on something so gathered. So what should have happened is this piece should have gone back to the drawing board and either a different fabric and sleeve design was needed or a much smaller and lighter or more delicate embroidery design. But for some reason, I assume likely time constraints, this was not thought out and put into production as is and then ended up in the thrift store with tags still on. But I'm gonna fix this bad design. We're gonna let this embroidery shine instead of being hidden and also create something more my style. First thing was to cut off the sleeves and see what we had to work with. And I left a little allowance because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with the armhole. I needed to give the open sleeve a really good press because again, due to the fabric choice, the material doesn't have the stability needed for this embroidery, so it was bunching up. And while there was no way to get it perfectly flat, I tried to smooth it out as best as I could. Then when I had my two pieces, I played around with some ideas and decided to connect them together to make a wide belt. So I matched and pinned the two sides together, sewed the middle, and created a pattern piece using the shape of the flowers. Next, I needed to add interfacing to actually give it the stability it needed. Then to hide the center seam, because I didn't just want a seam in the front, I decided to add more embroidery. Now, embroidery is not something I'm particularly great at, but this was really good practice. I tried to match the flowers as best as I could. I also extended the leaves so that they touch in the middle and then added a little bee, which I'm very happy with how it turned out. I created a backing piece from some thick cotton I had and then sewed those pieces together. Then all I needed to do was just add a way to tie it at the back. I decided to use the extra sleeve fabric to create some ties. When I made the belt, I kept envisioning wearing it with this dress. So let's try it on. It does kind of crease ever so slightly here because this of course isn't cut the way like a corset belt would be cut with different panels to better fit your curves. So while it looks like a corset belt, it doesn't offer the same type of structure and that's okay. It's also really comfortable. I don't think the bow was the best call because even though I love a good bow moment, it means that these two sides end up squishing down together, which I think causes this crease here and also means that these sort of little flaps from the straight edge are a bit weird. I did the tie back because I wanted to use up the remaining sleeve fabric, but I think what I should have done is put some little pieces of boning in the side here, some eyelets, and done an actual corset lacing. And that would have kept this straighter and would have prevented this kind of crease that runs along here. And I can still probably do that. Like I could cut these straps off and add some support and some eyelets and change up the back a bit. I wasn't totally sure how this curve shape would work out, sort of following where the flowers curved, but I think it actually looks quite nice and I'm really glad that I did it this way, having the wider curve on the bottom and the more gentle curve on the top. Because I think if I had this wider curve, it would be sort of interfering with the bust here. Overall though, I am really thrilled with how this worked out. I think this is so beautiful. I really wanna try wearing it with some of my other dresses and maybe with a skirt and a top as well because I was only really thinking about it with this dress, but I feel like it would go with a lot of other pieces in my wardrobe too. I think it adds so much interest and detail. I am really thrilled with this. I can't believe this used to be just some hidden sleeves. But then there's the remaining part of the shirt. 
So with this top, I could just kind of cut this and reshape the sleeves, but I really like this pink piping detail. So I left a tiny bit of fabric here to be able to just tuck that back and finish the edge. And I think I'm gonna keep it really simple and just try that and see how I like the fit. And then my other plan is to remove the tassel and because this neckline is a bit low for me, add some ribbons that I can tie into a little bow. And then after I make those two adjustments, I'll see how I like the fit. So if I want to take it in anymore or shorten it at all, or if I like it as is. Okay, so I've got the little tassel and we're going to head to the fabric store and see if I can find any ribbons that are the same color. I'm not super confident about being able to color match this, especially in a cotton, but hopefully we can get close enough. I did find a decent color match with the polyester ribbons, but I really wanted to keep it all cotton. So I went with these ones, which are more purple than pink, but I think it's okay for the overall look. Then for the top, I just attached the ribbons and finished the armholes. And here is the final result. I think this turned out so cute. I am still probably going to make a few small adjustments. I find the armhole too low, so I'll probably take in the side a bit to raise that up. And I also need to make some alteration to the shoulder. I ended up putting a little bit of elastic right here by the neckline to sort of bring this in a bit because I found it was sticking straight out. But now I don't like how this is kind of scooping up. So I'm probably gonna remove that elastic and either just take in a little bit on the top corner or just remove the piping and reshape the armhole. And I am also very likely going to change the back of the belt to a lace up like I talked about. I'd like to try to get rid of this fold in the side. And also I find as I wear it, it tends to loosen up a bit just because the tie doesn't hold as well. But overall, I think this is a huge improvement over the original blouse and two pieces that I am so excited to wear. I would love to hear your thoughts on this transformation in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.